What you are seeing right here is not a dungeon created by a mod pack. This is created by a single mod. This mod is called Dungeon Now Loading 1% and it was created by Hex. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install this mod. Let's get started. Now, the first step to installing the Dungeon Now Loading 1% mod is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to a written guide on how to download and install this mod. Feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots if you need to. But if you just want to get straight to the point, all you have to do is to scroll down and click where it says how to download this mod. And then you might notice that you have two different platforms to download this mod from, we're going to use Modrinth in this video. And once you're over here, choose your version, either Forge or Fabric. For this video, we're going to download the Forge version. And if you don't have Forge or Fabric, don't worry, because I'm going to teach you how to install one of them later on on this video. So once you found the instance and the version that you wanted, go ahead and click on the download arrow. Don't you now loading is completely safe and easy to download. And you know what else is safe and easy to use? Our sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you want to create a Minecraft server, either a Java or a Bedrock server that is open 24-7, that is hosted completely online, so you don't have to expose your IP address, putting yourself at risk. You don't have to burn your computer hardware trying to run a server hosted locally. Well, then get your server set up within five minutes with Apex Hosting. There's no reason to struggle nowadays. And something that I love about Apex Hosting is that they have locations all over the world. So no matter where you are located, you will be able to set up a server that won't lag or anything like that because of how many options you have when creating a server. Now, if you use the first link in the description, you'll get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting, or you could also head over to apexhost.gg slash itscuba to get your first server set up with 25% off with Apex Hosting. Once that's said, let's keep going with this guide. Now, as we can see right here, our dungeon now loading mod has completely downloaded. If you already have Forge installed, all you have to do now is open your mods folder within your Forge instance and add this folder into the mods folder. That's it. That's if you already have Forge installed, you can get this mod working already. Same goes for Fabric. If you downloaded the Fabric version and you already have Fabric installed, all you have to do is open your instance of Fabric, open the mods folder, drag and drop this mod into that folder, and you will have this mod working. However, I'm assuming most of you don't have either Forge or Fabric installed, so I'm going to teach you how to install Forge in a second. However, if you also want to learn how to install Fabric, we have videos on the channel as well as guides in the website on how to do so. To install Forge, click on the third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Forge. Feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but if you just want to follow along, all you have to do is to scroll down, click where it says download Forge here, that'll redirect you to the Forge official website, and make sure that in here, you select the proper version that matches your dungeon now loading mod. For example, we downloaded the 1.20.1 version of the mod, so we're going to have to download the 1.20.1 version of Forge. This goes for Fabric as well if you're installing the Fabric version. Once you selected the proper version, go ahead and click on Installer. I'll read your key over here where you don't have to click anything. All you have to do in here is wait 5 seconds, okay? There's going to be a little counter here on the top, little timer, wait 5 seconds, and once you see this skip button right here, Go ahead and click on it and that will begin the download automatically for the Forge installer. Once your download has finished, go ahead and drag and drop the Forge installer into your desktop. Now, the next step is actually quite easy. The first thing you want to do is make sure your Minecraft launcher is closed as well as your Minecraft game. Once that's done, go ahead and launch your Forge installer. Not the first thing we downloaded, but the second one. Just double click on it or right click and run it as an admin. That will show you this little menu in here where you're going to click OK. Install client should be selected by default. If that's not the case, just change it to install client and then click OK and the installation for Forge will begin. I do have to let you know that if you had any issues installing Forge or opening this jar file, that is probably because you don't have Java installed on your computer. When I recently installed Windows 11, I realized that it doesn't come with Java, and you need Java to open this type of files which are called jar files. So I'm going to leave a guide in the description on how to download and install Java 17. It's super simple, it takes a couple of steps and you get Java set up, and then you'll be able to open these jar files. That is if you were to have any issues when trying to open the Forge installer. Anyways, after Forge has installed, just go ahead and click on OK, and then you could even delete the installer now, as well as the installer log that appears on your desktop. It's a little text document. Once you have Forge installed, all you have to do now is launch your Minecraft launcher by opening it wherever you have it located. Wait for your Minecraft launcher to open, and if we install Forge properly, we should see it selected automatically as soon as we go into the Minecraft launcher. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to load, but there we go. We are now in the Minecraft launcher and we see Forge 1.20.1 selected here automatically. If that's not the case for you, head over to installations, make sure that mod is selected for you to be able to see Forge in here, and then click on new installations, name this whatever you want, and then where it says version, search for Forge 1.20.1. As you can see, release 1.20.1 Forge is my fifth option in here. Just select it, name it whatever you want, and then click create down here, and that will make a new instance of Forge for you. But most of you will have Forge as soon as you launch your Minecraft launcher. With Forge already installed, head over to installations, hover over Forge, and then click on this little folder. 
That will open a folder with a lot more files in it. Just wait for this to load. And what you're going to do next is search for a folder called mods, M-O-D-S. As you can see, my mods folder is right here, but there is a small chance that you don't have this mods folder. As a matter of fact, that I'm going to go ahead and delete my mods folder. Let's say that you come over here and you don't see the mods folder. What do you do? Well, don't freak out. All you have to do is right click, click on new, click on folder, type M-O-D-S. So create that mods folder yourself. Go ahead and open it and then drag and drop the dungeon now loading 1% mod into this folder. Once you have the mod in here, go ahead and close this folder, open your Minecraft launcher back up, and then just launch your Forge instance. However, before we go ahead and open the Forge instance, I do have to let you know that you always have the option to increase the RAM of this instance. You click on these little three dots in here, click on edit, and then click on more option. You can always increase this number in here to more gigabytes. For example, I'm going to give it eight gigabytes. That is because I have a lot of RAM available on my computer. However, I don't recommend that you change this number unless you know what you're doing because certain mods will require you to give it more RAM. However, go ahead and try it with two gigabytes, which is the default. And if that works for you, hey, you don't have to move it, good for you. But if you feel that the game is a little bit laggy and you do have more RAM available, then go ahead and increase that number. I'm gonna go ahead and save it with eight gigabytes and then I'm going to go ahead and launch it by clicking on play on it and then click that you understand it. And now let's just wait for Forge to launch with our mod install. And as we can see, Minecraft launched without any issues. Let's go ahead and launch a single player world. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new world for this. Let's put ourselves in creative so we could explore around. And just a quick reminder that this mod also works on multiplayer. If you wanna add this mod to a server, you could certainly do so and you could even do it with Apex Hosting. Remember, use the first link in the description for 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting. Let's go ahead and change ourselves to Expectator Mode and then let's go below the ground and see if we can find one of those dungeons to showcase here real quick. And there we go. Just after a little bit of exploring, I was able to find one of the dungeons. As you can see, it's called the Labyrinth or La I don't even know how to pronounce that. But here it is. This is the dungeon that it adds. And now with Night Vision, we can see that this is huge there's so many things for you guys to explore in here so yeah that is pretty much how to download and install the dungeon now loading one percent mod i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a like and a comment i hope this video was useful if it was don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and as always bye bye